All right, guys, this is how to export stamps and FL20 or any pretty much any version of FL. But for the latest one, this is how you do it. So first things first, we have this track right here. And then uh, so we have our cool tracks Then we're going to go to our menu. I like this one. I like uh, Compact. Here we go. So we have our menu right here. And then so what we're going to do, we're going to highlight all of them. So I don't want this one. So literally just drag across. You don't have to hold anything. But if you want to unselect it, you hold shift and then press whatever one you don't want to select. And then we're going to assign them to our instrument tracks. So we go over to our mixer. And then you can literally, if they're all empty, or I'm going to pick like, you can go from one because I already have that on my template. So I'll just start at three. And then you right click on the one of the mixer tracks, then you go channel routing. And because they're all highlighted, you can spread them from three to all the way to four, five, six. So I'm gonna go route selected tracks starting from this track. And this is just laying out there. So we have our main vocal, our track, stacks, and ad libs. Hold control or command on Apple. So like, um, we double click it. It makes them all like mute. And then whatever once once they're on mute, they only have the one that's muted. You just click on the ones you like, but then you gotta be careful you don't accidentally um, forget a trap. So that's why I'll just print everything and then let engineer can figure it out. And then that you just do the same process. We just go, we can do a shortcut, which is shift R, or we just go to file, export, wave. And then the you just pick a place. So we're just gonna do the, I'm gonna create a new folder on the desktop. Let's be stems new 10 and then we're going to name it this is our secrets secrets project stems and then we're going to save it under this cool guy the empty one and then up here you have a couple options and the most important thing is to leave it on wave you don't want to put mp3 and then we won't have high quality and the most important thing here is a split mixer tracks. So everything else is not really important. The only thing that's really important that really matters is uh, split mixer tracks. And then uh, you want to take off enable master effects. So if you recorded your vocals with reverb delays, EQ compression, that's fine to have on there. But when you're exporting stems, you want to send the cleanest stems possible, raw files, vocal takes to your engineer. So and make sure that's unclicked, enable master effects. And then all you have to do, uh, oh yeah, then uh, this you pretty much leave the same. You can 24 bits, fine, stereo, and then you just hit export. And then it'll be a countdown. It'll show you the progress bar. We'll wait for that to finish. And then it should just be on your desktop in your file. Then we'll just zip it. So zip it to a folder, a zip folder, zip file. That way we can easily move it around, export, uh, email it, upload it. And it just moves a lot faster than the whole file because it's compressed without losing quality. So let's check our so we have we have stem sense where we up where we exported our tracks. And then to zip it, just go to send to get it compressed, and then it'll give you like a little progress bar. And then once it's compressed, it's easy just to move around. And that's how you uh, export stems for FL Studios. Being guys, bye.